Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate expansion work. Expansion work is a, it's a type of work in which the system either expands or compresses against a constant external pressure. And the equation to use for expansion work is W equals negative P times delta V. So W is the work, P is the pressure, and delta V is the volume. Pressure has been ATM change in volume has to be in liters, and then work ha has to be in ATM time liters. These two multiply together. But sometimes you don't want work just in ATM time liters, you want it in joules or kilojoules, which is more conventional. So then you would just use this conversion factor to turn the ATM time liters into joules, and then, and then you can use other conversion factor to turn the joules into kilojoules. Let's take a look at an example of how this is done. So a piston is compressed from a volume of 12.9 liters to 6.8 liters against a constant pressure of 0.93 ATM. What is the value of work in ATM time liters, joules, and kilojoules? Well, we know this is expansion work because you can see the volume is, is being changed against a constant external pressure. So then we can use the equation for expansion work, which is W equals negative P times delta V. The P right here, the pressure is negative the pressure is 0 0.93 ATM, and then the change in volume is the final volume minus initial volume, so 6.8 minus 12.9 liters. So we plug, we can plug it into the calculator, 6.8 minus 12.9, and then multiply it by negative 0.93, and then you'll get 5.6 if we were looking at sig figs, 5.7 ATM time liters as the value of work if, uh, for ATM time liters. To convert that to joules, we just take the 5.7 ATM time liters and then multiply by the conversion factor, which is uh, over here, 101.3 joules over one ATM time liters, then the ATM time liters cancel out. And then that'll be 5,000, approximately 5,700 joules. And then to turn down to kilojoules, well, we can just, you know, just divide this by 1,000. Because to turn joules into kilojoules, you just divide it by 1,000, and then that'll be 5.7 kilojoules. And that's it. That's how you would calculate expansion work. If there's a change in volume against a constant pressure, then just use this equation. And then you can use this conversion factor to change the ATM time liters into joules, and then just divide by 1,000 if you want in kilojoules. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.